So I've taken the bottom bit off and that's where the air filter actually sits. And uh, as you can see, there's, I'll be honest, quite a lot's gonna have to be chopped out of it. Well, good morning YouTube and you join me today on a very historic day in the UK um, we left the EU last night a Brexit happened and we left uh, everything has changed anyway we're all independent now and um, yeah we are Britain again or something like that um, right today you join me in the Audi um, so you've seen the Audi on the channel a few times before uh, I've done a couple of videos on it I didn't want to go too mad on it but um, I'll probably get some more videos in the summer months but today there's one thing I want to do um, there's one thing that's bugged me since I've had this car and uh, I've had it getting on two years now um, and it's been brilliant loved every minute of it uh, ultra reliable as the Audis are and uh, obviously there have been a few jobs that I've done on it. Uh, the timing chain was one, oil changes, and there's another one of those coming up soon. But there's one thing that just annoys me slightly, and I'll show you what that is. So, here's an Audi engine, well, there's three engine. Um, and as you can see, um, it looks very bare. So the original Audi engine cover is missing on this one, and what, that's what usually happens when you put a cold air induction on. But I have seen online a few people that have modified a cover to actually make it fit. So today, that's my task. I've got a cover and I'm going to hack it about so the purists who, uh, who are watching this will probably throw a fit. Because, um, yeah, I'm going to hack the original engine cover around. Um, the original engine cover had the air filter embedded into it. And if you take that out and chop a few bits off it, you can actually get it around the engine and I've seen this online um, but I'm going to do a video today and see how it turns out it could be a complete disaster it could look okay so that's what the engine cover looks like and um, the car when I got it didn't come with one because it had already been taken off this one come off eBay uh, good price actually uh, I think it's about 55 quid which is pretty good for one of these but as you can see when the cold air intake is on all this is in the way and that's the induction into the air filter which is a panel behind there if I turn this over it's so your air filter is actually housed inside there um, so obviously you, your air comes into there goes through here and ends up going out there into your turbocharger um, so I've somehow got to um, get rid of most of that um, I want to keep as much as possible because I'm going to anchor the point to the back here and there obviously the engine point at the front here so I've got to be very clever um, it kind of looks like you can just take the panel filter bit off and it will pretty much fit but mm, we shall see right let's get started so I've taken the bottom bit off and that's where the air filter actually sits and uh, as you can see there's I'll be honest quite a lot's gonna have to be chopped out of it um, the original assembly went all the way under there uh, attached at the back and also attaches with these at the front here but obviously with the pipe in the way I think I've got to lose most of that certainly all of that um, so I've got to lose probably those back mounting points uh, which I didn't really want to do but um, looking at it I may be able to get around that in some way shape or form um, but it's um, yeah there's a lot of hacking to be had <laughs> it's going to be interesting right I think I'm going to take the pipe out anyway I'm going to fit this in the area where I need to have it and, and then look at what I need to chop off to make it fit. Okay, that's the air induction system off. Um, let's use one bolt uh, just there, and obviously a duplicator just there, and your mass sensor. And that is to cover how it should sit OEM standard. Um, but obviously, yeah, it didn't come to me. So, um, yeah, just looking at it, I think we're sort of okay up to, to that point there. And I think what I've seen online is many people sort of trim them down there and, and hack that off as well um, so I think that's pretty much the same sort of route as I'm going to take um, 
Yeah, I need to kind of figure out if I can keep the back mounting points on there somehow. But I don't think I can because if we just take this off a minute. Easier said than done. Let's do it with one hand, shall we? Here we go. So there's back mounting points, kind of. Kind of sit there. Um, hmm, I don't know, maybe. Maybe if. Yeah. Hmm, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know at the moment. Um, yeah, certainly if I hack that bit off, it's not going to have back mounting points. Um, I don't think that matters too much, but uh, I want to save as much as I could. But again, it doesn't need to go on. It's just something that. I quite like, I quite like the uh, look of it and I wanted to try and make it fit where possible. But like I say, I've seen people online mounting them or pictures of them mounted on, so yeah, I'm going to give it a go myself. Right, let's, um, let's do some more thinking. Okay, so it's more small thinking time over. Um, so I think the first place I'm going to start is the bottom part of this. Um, the top bit I can manipulate as and when and how I need to. Uh, like I say, I, I want to try and keep as much of that back bit for stability as possible because there are two mounting points there and I can see it rattling around if I don't use those um, so obviously just there I've definitely got to hack that out um, I think I'll have to hack the top cover but I think this bottom one if I maybe oval a couple of ports there I can leave I can leave that bottom bit pretty much intact the only thing I won't be able to do is use the the hinge points at the back there um, but that's no biggie um, at least I'll get it to fit and the top cover is pretty much held down by loads of screws anyway so it's not going to be much of an issue I don't think it's going to rattle or anything like that and if it does I can fill it full of foam I mean it's it's literally only for cosmetic anyway it's not actually doing anything because the the air box is going to be chopped out of it don't need it uh, right um, <laughs> first cuts the deepest as they say um, let's have a look I think I'm going to start hacking here first Well, that's the first bit of uh, completely ruining the st structural integrity of this airbox underway. Um, so we've got the induction side off there, um, which gives the pipe, if we just grab that, ooh, here we are, gives the pipe somewhere to sit. So it can now sit in there. So the next bit is completely hacking that away. Um, both sides, I would say. Um, so we're going to mark that up see where it's going to sit and then yeah start a hacking okay first scary part over and i've got pretty much that cut out of there and the fruit flat pipe to sit in i think looking at it at the moment we're doing all right um if i get the pipe the pipe does actually sit quite nicely in there um again almost difficult to do with one hand but it does sit in there so it gets bolted down there, as you can see. It does kind of fit in there okay. There is plenty of room for it. Um, I don't think there's, there's going to be much vibration. At least I hope there isn't. Um, the only one thing that I can see at the moment is A, um, the clips at the back. I might be able to use those. Um, let me just show you what I mean. So at the back here, on the top cover, there's lots of clips. And basically they clip into there and it works like a scissor so clips in the back screws in the front so obviously I've got to get rid of that bit because the original math sensor is in there um, so that bit's got to come off regardless um, to enable that to come through that um, not sure <clears throat> gonna have to take a bit off there I know but I think there's enough clearance in there to cover that which will be really nice because that'll look pretty good and in fact if I cut that bit off there um, that might be enough to, to actually embed it so all you see is the pipe coming out there now that'd be nice because that would look really tidy I like tidy stuff so um, yeah a little bit more thinking time and maybe a coffee who knows catch you in a bit so it could be fair to say that the structural integrity is slightly compromised <laughs> but it's in there so I left that bit on there obviously trim the bottom bit off that trim the top corner off there uh, trim the little off there for the pipe to fit in uh, obviously trim the little bit there for the math sensor 
if I can get that in and out because that would be really inconvenient to catch. I need to a fair bit off there as well, but the main cover itself is pretty much all intact. So, proof of the pudding time. Will it fit? Let's see. So, I'm not going to deny it was a bit of a struggle. Um, and I think, looking at it, I just need to take a little bit more off there. Um, but it's in. It is in. Um, and it's solid. So, yeah, the cover is back on, which I'm happy about. Um, so, we've still got the induction system there, the cold air, and um, it's all, yeah, it's all clipped in nicely. It needs a good clean, obviously, but I now have an engine cover, and to me, that looks a lot better. Um, I don't like seeing, I like seeing engines, but only when they're nice and shiny and chromed and everything else like that. Um, yeah, the engine isn't a particularly pretty one, um, and I do like the cover, so it's personal preference, but there you go, that's how you make an engine cover fit with a cold air induction system. <laughs> what a thing to do on a Saturday, eh? Right, um, more videos to come on YouTube, like and subscribe and all that stuff, and um, who knows, in the future, may do some more on the car. If there's anything you want to see, um, just let me know. As I said, going to be doing an oil change in the next uh, month probably, because uh, it's about due. I like to do it every 5,000 miles. So I'll take you through that again. Um, but that's the engine cover. That is pretty much my task done for today. Um, now I'm going to enjoy some pleasant weather, considering it's the 1st of February. Catch you later, YouTube. There you have it. No vibration. No rattles. And I think it's made the engine a little bit quieter as well. Excellent stuff. Job well done.